If you're repeating, are you out of the woods yet, or shake it off in your head, well, it's already over for you. You've been subjected to the Taylor Swift takeover. I'm Carly Malenbaum, and for this USA Entertainment Now, we're talking about how Miss Swift is successfully invading Twitter, iTunes, and soon your TV ahead of the release of her new album. Some artists, like Beyonce, like to surprise us with albums. Swift is not one of these artists. Instead, she makes fans crazy with her album teases. Before she announced her album release date, she hinted at a live performance on Yahoo with clues like this one. We later learned that meant she was doing a Yahoo live stream on August 18. It was that live stream where she announced that her new 80s inspired pop album, 1989, would debut on October 27th. The first two songs off that album, Out of the Woods, which she teased with photos like this one and leaked on Good Morning America, and Shake It Off, which has a music video that's been viewed over 170 million times, took over the top spots on iTunes when they debuted, after both were trending on Twitter, of course. Since announcing the new album, Swift has been everywhere. She was on the cover of Rolling Stone, she was named Billboard's Woman of the Year, she performed on iHeartRadio's Festival, and UK's X Factor, and she's held a number of secret listening sessions with certain Swift superfans. One of them is our reporter Brian Mansfield, who is sworn to secrecy about the music, but he would reveal that it's a really good album. The album's already a top seller in pre-orders right now. But Swift is just warming up. She has promotional deals with Diet Coke, Subway, and Keds. She'll be a guest mentor on The Voice, and she promises to keep her more than 45 million Twitter followers excited by tweeting out lyrics to each of her 13 songs ahead of the album release, like this one. Plus, she's booked plenty of TV appearances. There's Good Morning America, where she will also perform a concert. The View, she's also going to close down Hollywood Boulevard with a concert for Jimmy Kimmel Live. I told you, it's the Taylor Swift takeover. And with the way things are going, she will likely have the best-selling record from an artist this year. All she needs to do is sell one million albums, which she easily sold with her last album in its first week. For more news about the songstress who's got this album promotion thing down, you know where to go. It's music.usatoday.com.